Hey guys, welcome back. So we created this class, this user class, and we're creating an instance, which is known as an object, and storing it in this variable called user. So that's what we've learned so far. But now what I wanna do is I want to create fields inside this class. So go back to our class, and what we're gonna do is we're going to create a first name, and we're going to create a last name, and we have to give them a type. So prefix this with public and let's go with string and that with a semicolon and do the same thing for the last name just like so now we do not assign values here at the class level we assign them at the object level we're just defining what things can be stored for the user objects so going back to our code inside a user we can say user dot and see everything that's available to us two of them we created ourselves first name and last name so we can assign values here. So we can give him a first name of sub and a last name of scriber. That's you, right? So that is how we create fields. You can notice they're just like variables, but they're defined at the class level. It's a little bit different than right here where we created these users. This user here is defined inside of a method. So this is not a field. It's not a class level variable. This is a local variable to this method main. But for us, inside of the user class, we're putting them right in the class. And that is how you work with fields. They are just like any other strings in this case, so we can do a sys out and just put in user.firstName, and that should show up in the console, and it does. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the next video. We're gonna be talking about methods, so it should be pretty fun.